Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. Yes, Miss Paris. So today's video is actually going to be me doing a perm wrap set on my hair. My hair is medium to long in length. It is 3C texture and I'm going to be doing a perm wrap set today. Um, I'm actually going to go uh, co-wash my hair. I'm not going to shampoo, co-wash and then we can get started. So today um, the perm wrap set I'm going to use, I'm going to be using the green ones or the teal ones. And they are like the jumbo. I think it's only one size larger than this. So I'm going to be using this. And if I run out, I do have a couple of the orange ones that I can use in place of it. So stay tuned and continue to watch. Hi, guys. So I'm back on camera. And I've literally done most of my hair, as you can probably tell from the amount of stains on my shirt. But I left out this little piece so that I can show y'all what I do on camera. So for moist for moisture, I'm using the um, Soul Tentacles. Can't believe it's not butter moisturizer. It's just like a twist and butter. Got good ingredients. Keeps my hair soft. Cool. I'm sealing with the sweet almond oil, and then to set my hair, I'm using the Main Choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut Mousse. Picked it up from Sally's. Um, the can't believe it's not butter. I got from my local beauty supply store. And then you can just get your, uh, your whatever oil your hair likes to use. So this one will probably be maybe, it'll probably end up being three. I've been using pretty small parts. So this section. And then clip this back. I also been using my aloe vera juice to like keep it wet. I started out on just co-washed hair. I shampooed like three days ago so I didn't feel the need to do that. I'm literally just using not even a dime sized bit of oil. I use two pumps, two pumps of the mousse. And I have my roller. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching all the way, pulling it tight, rolling my ends first, rolling it just regular. And then I'm going to do the corkscrew method, which is literally just grabbing hair and twisting. All the way till you get to the roots and to avoid puffy roots you're just gonna kind of twist the rod a little bit Ugh. now that I'm almost done I keep like bumping into the other rods which sucks and then I just secure it so the only problem is, since I haven't done this a lot, just one other time and I was on dry hair, just keeping everything nice and taut is kind of hard. And that's like the whole key thing to getting a good defined perm rod is keeping everything nice and tight so you don't get those puffy roots and end up looking a mess. So I'm just going to actually keep this as one. I misjudged what I was going to need. And I'm just moisturizing again the whole section. Put my oil. Again, this process is kind of messy. So just wear a shirt that you, you know, ain't really feeling or whatever. Two pumps of the mousse. I'm really making sure I put the mousse on my end. Um on the top of my hair, my roots. 
and I'm pulling tight. Securing those ends is also a key thing. And then I'm just corkscrewing to get it as tight as possible. just secure and there we have it y'all look like big worm from friday <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna um go i'm actually just gonna tie like my head scarf around it just because i don't want it to like rub but i'm not gonna cover my hair obviously that's gonna hinder the drying process so i'm just gonna literally just tie a scarf around it so it don't get messed up but other than that i'm gonna lay down go to sleep and like i said if it's not drying in a, a timely manner i'm just gonna go in with my hand blow dryer and on low of course because we're not doing no heat damage and then go with the process from there so i'll show y'all the results in the morning stay tuned hi you guys so i'm back and it's the next morning i'm about to do the takedown um, I'm hoping that it's all the way dry. I did have to wake up and hand dry for legit about like 45 minutes. I used my hand blow dryer and blow dry my hair. So I'm hoping that it's dry <laughs> because I don't have time for this to be a fail. For real, for real, I got things to do today. So um, here we go. I'm going to start from the back. I'm just going to unravel. Okay. I'm a, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous, y'all. <laughs> so far, they seem to be coming out okay. And I ain't doing nothing extra or nothing. Mm. This one, oof, y'all, I'm nervous, cause that one wasn't all that dry. And neither was that. The bigger sections clearly did not dry that well. Oof. So this is going to be a fail. This is going to be a fail because it didn't dry. It didn't dry.
I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. Honestly, I have no, I, I have no clue how I'm gonna fix this. Um, I mean, I guess I can go through and separate. Hey y'all, so yeah, this is how it turned out. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no clue <laughs> what I'm gonna do with my hair because I want to just throw it in a bun, but it's uh, <laughs> it's just such a fail, y'all. It's just such a fail. If you don't have like a a hooded dryer to sit under, you just gonna be. I keep touching it, trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do next, and I don't know. I got work in. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Um, let me know what y'all would have did differently if you've done perm process before. Let me know what was your tricks. Um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. I'm finna go try to fix my hair because. <sighs> See y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.